Welcome to Charles Law. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing the relationship between volume and temperature of gases. And that's something that was first studied by Jacques Charles in 1700s. He was a French scientist, and he was actually particularly interested in hot air ballooning, which was growing pretty popular in France at that time. So he was looking at the relationship between the temperature of a gas and its volume because of hot air balloons. He determined that for a fixed amount of gas, held at a constant pressure. The volume is directly proportional to the temperature in kelvins. We refer to this relationship between temperature and volume as Charles's law. And Charles's law assumes that the amount of gas, N, the moles of gas, are held constant, as well as a pressure. So both these things are held constant. And if these things are held constant, then Charles's law says that the relationship between volume and temperature is directly proportional. So volume is directly proportional to temperature, or volume varies directly with temperature. Let's take a look at an example of this relationship. Here I have a balloon in a beaker with another beaker sitting on top of it. That provides my constant pressure. Now this beaker has been heating on a hot plate and is currently at about 70 degrees Celsius. When I put it into an ice bath, we can see that the balloon shrinks as the temperature drops. The temperature is dropping to about 20 degrees Celsius, down from that original 70 degrees Celsius. We can tell the balloon is getting smaller because the beaker sitting on top sinks lower as the balloon contracts. So this shows that as the temperature of the gas decreases, the volume of the gas decreases as well. Now Charles's law can be written as an equation. V1 divided by T1 equals V2 over T2. And this equation allows us to make predictions about what will happen if I change either volume or I change temperature while holding the amount of a gas and the pressure constant. So let's take a look at how to use this. Here we have an example problem. A balloon inflated at STP has a volume of 2.0 liters. What will be the volume of the balloon if the temperature changes to 25 degrees Celsius? So the equation I'm going to use is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2 because volume and temperature are involved and I know that's Charles's law. So like any time I'm given an equation, the first thing I'm going to do is define my variables. So V1 is the initial volume and that is 2.0 liters. That's what the volume starts at. T1 is the initial temperature and that's given to me in this term here. STP. I know that the standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Now, there's a very important thing that needs to happen right now. Charles's law only works with Kelvin temperatures. So if you have Celsius, you have to have to have to convert it. And Celsius temperatures can be converted to Kelvin by just adding 273. So that's going to change my T1 to 273 Kelvin. Now I'm going to finish identifying my variables. V2 is the unknown, because it's asking me what will be the volume. And T2 says it's 25 degrees Celsius, which again I need to change to Kelvin temperatures. So plus 273 is going to give me 298 Kelvin as my T2 temperature, my final temperature. Now I can go ahead and plug these things in. 2.0 liters over 273 Kelvin equal to my new volume over 298 Kelvin. Now 2.0 liters only has two significant figures so my final answer should only have two significant figures. So V2 is going to be 2.2 liters as my new volume if the temperature goes from 0 to 25 degrees Celsius. Now let's see if this makes sense considering kinetic molecular theory. I basically increased the temperature and I saw that the volume went up from 2.0 to 2.2. Let's see if that makes sense based on what we know about molecular motion. Here I have my balloon and it has particles inside of it. If I increase the temperature, these particles are going to move more. If they move more often, that's going to generate more pressure inside, which is going to push out the boundary of the balloon, and that's going to expand my balloon, giving me a slightly larger volume. 
So this answer makes sense. Increasing the temperature should result in an increased volume. That wraps up our lesson on Charles's Law. Any questions you have from this lesson, write them down in your notes and bring them with you to class.